to get back on my feet and dispense some well-deserved retribution, I must be recognized as a legitimate ruler by the world powers. Fortune smiles on the selfless civil servants such as me. I found the perfect island for the next step of my plan. Isla Desconocida is a place avoided by every power in the world and populated by the most worthless people. The only problem is that my new home is so worthless that it's not even a country. Mm. The solution to this is simple. To gain recognition, Isla Desconocida will become a European colony. After that, I will find a way to declare independence. Okay, sounds interesting. So, clearly you're thinking in the Caribbean has to be abolished if by force if necessary. And it's official. Nobody knows where Isla Desconocida is. Difficulty is 114%. Okay. Okay, let's play. Forward. Forward. Uh, let's not do diplomatic. Let's do... Hardworking? We've already chosen hardworking, haven't we? Um... Cheapskate? No, no, no. Uh, sociable... Hmm. So many cho choices. I really like ugly though. Let's, let's, let's level up ugly. So what happens when you're at like the full level of Arabian liking of us? Let well, me give you details about your latest plan for international recognition. Thank you, Pinalto. It's a good thing you're a leader. It's a bad thing. You're a leader of nothing. <laughs> uh, Isla Desconcida is not a country, it's just a place, but you can make it a colony. Britain ruled the island once. We can surely trick Europe into becoming our colonial master again and recognizing you as a leader. Right now, no one wants to talk to us. We have to build a ministry. All right. So we're going to build a ministry first. That's not going to happen because we're going to have to build a tenement first. And then after that, let's just check our mines. Where are they? Oh, here we go. There's nothing really to be too fond of. And then there's... Okay. Oh, well. Oh, God. Haven't we... We've already been on this island, haven't we? It's like a really similar, similar island. Except we were just looking at it this way. This is the exact same map. Are you guys serious? Except we were just looking at it this way. It's during that um, mission called... Um, with the world records. Disappointing, disappointing. Alright, let's check out oil wells. Where do we have oil wells? Oil wells, oil wells. Food and resources. Are you serious, Penultimo? I guess we're gonna that's gonna open up later. Do we have any salt mines worth talking about? Yeah we do. Got two. Okay. I got three there. We got another one all the way down here, but we can't build here because that's in the way. So let's just check if we can maybe build it here. Here. Nope. Okay. Still the same. Same old, same old. Yeah, we're going to have to build a logging camp. Right there. Build, an, oh, build a restaurant while we're at it as well then. Build another logging camp. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Logging camp. Looking camp right there. Okay. So let's start logging away and let's build a ministry then. There we go. Why am I such an idiot? Okay. Uh, how's our farmers going? That's corn and what's this? That's corn as well. Okay. Who the hell is that guy? Did he just die? He just, he just went into a rock. That's normal. Alright, whatever. His loss, not mine. Let's put it to fast forward. Let's just build a... Uh, construct the mine while we're at it. Uh, food and resources, mine. Bauxite mine, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, bauxite, whatever. Okay, dokes. Put that to a high build priority. 
All right, we'll be losing a bit of money for the time being. Agent Sasha, I am happy that you were able to leave your super secret bunker in Russia in order to thank join you, us. Thank you. I have always wanted to ask you, what do you use to make your hair so shiny? Comrade Sonny, I am happy to be here among our brothers in Tropico to spread the light of communism for future generations. Yes, yes, this is good and all, but really, I want to know okay. how you got that gorgeous hair. Alright, sounds out for sound future. Now that we have a ministry, I have already thrown some lavish parties parties for ambassadors. ambassadors. No one can expect a tropicans dressed as foreigners showed up. Relax, they did not trick the clever penultimo. Of course not. Since foreign powers are still silent and Europe does not rush to accept us as a colony, we will set up a minor fiscal crisis. <laughs> what better way to attract attention? We cause trouble and the powers will intervene and re-establish our colonial status. Let's start by creating a treasury of $5,000. Easy. I'm the best at that. So let's just build a church. Let's build a clinic. There we go. Dear Presidente, Europe watches the fiscal situation on Isla Desconocida with growing concern. Lord Chuffy. Right, of course, we received your colonial submission application form. I remember it because your name and position were written with spelling mistakes. Even though Britain is against it, I am authorized to present you with the roadmap to a bright colonial future. Once you have entered the bright colonial future, Europe and its allies will wel welcome you into the international community of your stature. The first step is to establish infrastructure for your colonial <laughs> administration. Build a new pub. Sounds easy enough. First, we're going to have to make a bit of money, I think, though. What about if we just give it a try? Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm sure by now you have found out that the builders on Isla Desconocida cannot construct certain yes, things already have, like yes. factories, hospitals, and the like. Uh, it's not because they're not trying, Presidente. It's because no one will sell us bl blueprints or parts for those highly sophisticated buildings. Years of attempts on to make an electrical substation out of mud have only resulted in fresh starts after every rainy season. So, sounds sounds interesting, I gotta say. Alright. So, now at least we're gonna be making a bit of money. What is your take on the situation, uh, Pantera? You want us to build I a new pub? Fine. My next door neighbor. I know you are not paying your taxes, you old crone. Alright. Hurry up and build a new freaking thing. Do, 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 do. Why are they building a restaurant for? Build this. Freight is left with no export system. No good at all. Uh, there we go. Two builders working. Three builders. Let's put that. Put the mine up to high build priority as well. Okay. Oh, chap. Old chap, what do you want? Uh, old chap, do you really think that having one pub is sufficient? A true European colony would also have proper housing for its administrators. I say two houses should be enough. No, make that five houses. New houses, of course. You don't expect our people to live in your dirty old shanties, do you? Oh, Lord Chuffy. Ever so modest, isn't he? What do you want? Inflation for that? What? I have a plan, Presidente. A really good plan. Once we anger the USA, Europe will be more inclined to step in and protect us. Hmm. For, for that, we have to make problems for the whole region. How can we do that, you ask? We can stage a little economic crisis by, say, printing money. Inflation will rise and we will laugh. Issue the print money edicts. Hmm. Europe will send emergency transfer of $30,000. Minus 20%. U.S. relations, or well, okay, let's do that. Uh, what would that be? General? No, interior then. No, no. Where? All Eco oh, right, economy. Duh. Pretty money. We need a minister of the economy. Does that cost anything? Oh, no. Okay. Oh wait, we can't even hire a foreign expert. Okay. Oh, whatever. 
Oh, oh. Did you know that there is at least a 400-year-old tradition that no ship will dock at Isla Desconocida? Even the prisoners brought here from Europe were thrown overboard to swim to the shores. There's already been ships docking here. What are you talking about, Penaltimo? Isla Desconocida was the only col col colony in the world to be thrown out of the British Empire as the most meaningless overseas possession ever. History lesson aside, the ship captain won't dock at Isla Desconocida unless we present him with a hefty compensation in the amount of $1,000 per year. That's pretty crazy. Right. Goddamn ship captain. Alright. Never feel President is here. These build Talk fast, build I don't have all day. Make it so. It's yes. always Increase our work and no speed. There we go. For we already got a person here. Where's our president? Talk he fast, has I don't have all day. Yeah, he's not running away. Where is he? Can't really see him too well. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> Alright, that's a lot of wind. Alright, okay. Hey. Never fear. President is here. Alright, uh, let's put some money on uh, on the logging camp. Alright, are we exporting anything yet? Yeah, we are. It's just $671 worth of stuff. Alright, guys. I'm going to have to end this episode now. And... Hope you've been enjoying. We're already halfway through the campaign and see you guys.